Namaste, Shambhala Didi. Namaste, all. Good morning and welcome to the morning session. Ji, namaste, Sunil Ji. Sabhi ko namaste, good morning and welcome. We are doing UHV 3 and in module 1, after doing the first four lectures, we are now on to the practice session. And in the practice session, we started with exercise one, observing the self by the self. In step one, we were saying that we just need to look at what is going on in the self, the activities, the imagination that is going on. If possible, to try to see the feeling, the thought and the expectation separately. Particularly, our focus is on the feeling. So, if possible, we should look at the imagination and we can try to see the feeling at the base of the imagination. We just started doing this and we were taking sharings about you know, what our experiences were with it yesterday also. And we discussed one of the common issues that even many of you shared that you felt there was, you know, your attention keeps going outside. That when you're trying to pay attention inside, the attention seems to just drift again outward. And this is bound to happen. In fact, it has to happen because We've been looking outside for a very long time. And even now, the preconditioning may be that something important is going on outside. So I must pay attention to that. And we pay attention to whatever we think is important. So all this time we may have been thinking body is important whatever senses I am using in the body, like sense of smell, sense of touch, sense of taste, that I may have considered important. I may have considered the physical facility, the house, the car, the furniture, all that important. So whatever we pay attention to, we'll find if we look at why we are paying attention to it, Somewhere we have accepted that this is important for us. And we've been doing this for a long, long time. So, for, you know, in the beginning, the attention will keep drifting outward and that is to be expected. But even if it goes to something outside, don't try to force it. No, no, I have to go back. I have to, I have to force yourself to try to pay attention inside, then you'll get a headache. Because you don't have to force yourself. Just see, okay, my attention has drifted outside. Very gently, just bring it back. Stay with your decision. That, okay, I wanted to observe the imagination. It will come back. It will automatically come back to the imagination. And when your attention shifts back to your imagination, now you start observing it. Don't try to go back and see where, what was I observing earlier. Let me try to... So you don't have to guide the thoughts. You don't have to decide, okay, now what should I think? And then think and try to observe. That's not observation. Observation is just let it roam free. Let your thoughts go wherever they will go. And you are just observing that without trying to change the thoughts, without trying to change the feeling, without trying to stop anything, without trying to justify, without trying to analyze, without trying to evaluate. Just see, just observe. So this is a very important step. And it's a simple step, but it's important. And so 
yesterday we had asked you to one is every day just sit by yourself for half an hour try to observe the imagination at any particular time of day when you are unlikely to be disturbed it could be early morning it could be evening or whenever so that is one part to sit down at a quiet place for half an hour and try to observe you can keep your eyes in whatever way you want open closed half open whatever important thing is to pay attention inside and yesterday we said in case if your attention is drifting outside observe this also and when you become aware that oh your attention drifted outside doesn't matter now you gently continue with the decision that i need to observe and it will shift back inside so if you would like to share your observations first of all were we able to do this exercise yesterday you can reply in the chat if you like even if we are not able to do the whole half an hour that's okay kavita ji is also saying not for 30 minutes that's okay as long as we have tried this and we are able to do this now if you would like to share your observations what was your experience what did you notice sometimes we have thoughts that we don't know where they must have come from random thoughts sometimes you'll see right now i'm thinking about this very next moment my thought has gone to something else and the very moment after that it has shifted again somewhere else it may shift to when i was a small child and so on it just keeps flitting from here to there to there have you noticed this namaste didi namaste sabhi ko yeah i could not sit for half an hour but yes during the day i was aware and i observed myself so there was an event in uh, the sindra gandhi stadium yesterday that i went to attend so during the day the event is going on and in between sometimes i could observe myself because i was just sitting there mm-hmm. so how so i had different thoughts related to students performing mm-hmm. few of the students they were assembling a clock the climate clock they were assembling so five people were allowed inside for assembling and others they were to sit outside like in the stadium on the first floor so during that event i could observe different different students and i, I could see myself also how earlier i used to be you know very judgmental Mm-hmm. but yesterday i i was not that judgmental and i could see you know the different different types of thoughts running inside related to the day you know, the present day that it was and then related to earlier whenever i went to stadium and what mm-hmm. happened few things i could recall few things i could not recall so but mm-hmm. yes there was this you know feeling of going inside Mm-hmm. what am i thinking what are mm-hmm. the feelings about what i am thinking and why i am thinking like this yes <laughs> so this this is all didi friends nice. very nice it may seem like a different experience but as we keep doing it we'll become more comfortable with it yeah i was able to sit uh, mostly more than 30 minutes right very in nice. the observation mm mm-hmm. uh as usual as i as shared yesterday the thoughts were random didi mm-hmm. and even i could notice my feelings also at the during the observation mm-hmm. very nice uh, as usual there were uh, phone calls uh, mm-hmm. as i yesterday also received it uh, mm-hmm. but anyway i could not attend it uh, yesterday mm-hmm. and initially only i have informed uh, and uh, not to provide me any calls if uh, any calls comes to me mm-hmm. and as per as feelings is concerned there was no feeling of opposition that i am observing and somebody's call is there 
and mm -hmm. like that there was no any feelings at all feeling of opposition was not at all there i was comfortable nice. uh, quite uh, sitting for more than half an hour daily very nice yes this was one of the issues that we talked of yesterday that our attention may drift outside when we are trying to pay attention inside now we look at some of the other issues we may have when we are trying to pay attention inside another problem sometimes some people face is we are trying to observe through the body we have to see that we are trying to see the self directly not through the body's senses so sometimes people will say we can't really see the self because we are trying to see the self through the gross eyes how we see the world outside so whatever you experience about the world outside how do you experience it you experience it with the help of the five senses anything to do with the world outside you want to see something you use the gross eyes right you want to hear something you use the ears you want to smell something you use the sense of smell you want to have the sensation of something you have to touch it you want to see how it tastes you have to taste it so ultimately all your experiences about the outside world are by using these five senses we tend to forget that even the gross eyes that we are using to see the world outside that is also a sense that is also a sensation just like the other senses the other four senses so we have five senses the sense of sight being able to see through the eyes that is one of those five senses and we tend to look at the world outside with the help of these five senses so we are very tuned to looking at the shape looking at the form the structure so we look at a tree and we say we hey, oh this is a mango tree i can see the mangoes on it. or we look at a papaya tree and we can say oh this is a papaya tree and so on so we tend to focus on the form we tend to focus on the shape the color something very gross like that now if we are trying to do that and trying to see the self that way we will not get any answer there because the self is too subtle it is far more subtle than what our gross eyes can see so very often people say i am trying very hard but i can't see it's okay we saw the thoughts but then what is the self where is the self so if you are trying to see through the gross eyes you cannot see it is very very subtle so seeing the self directly let us start with the thoughts let us start with the feeling behind the thoughts the imagination that is going on then as our competence grows we will be able to see more and more subtle things let's not try to rush it because if i say that this is what the self looks like now our imagination is very fertile now i will start imagining yes yes i can see it i can see it like this but i am choosing my thoughts i am deciding my thoughts and i may form this image within me and think that okay i can see it uh, imagination can be very very fertile that way so that's not the point the point is we want to observe directly because whatever we hear from somebody else 
if we do out of belief we think we are seeing it then there is no point so we have only two choices if you hear something you either believe it or you disbelieve it but we don't want to do that we don't want to match it you know with whatever we are hearing we don't want to match it with our preconditioning or otherwise so if it matches our preconditioning if we have heard this before we say ha ha this is true but if we have never heard this before or if we have heard something to the contrary we say no no this is not right i don't believe this so no no need to believe anything the whole purpose of this exercise is that we try to see it directly for ourselves no question of believing believing blindly then again it's the same thing now one more assumption has been added to the list that doesn't help so we are just going to try to observe directly starting with the imagination and for that we said we have to look within sometimes if open eyes are distracting we said you can close your eyes but there is no prescription it is not that you have to close your eyes you have to sit in this position that position whatever comfortable for you you can do that important thing is we have to pay attention inside so this is one thing which is a common problem yeah this is another problem that many of you may be sharing feeling is not clear that we are able to see the thoughts but we are not able to see the feeling so if that is the case it's okay for the time being you can keep trying to see the thought and sometimes from the thought you can decide what kind of feeling is at the base although this is not the best way but to begin with if you really want you can do this so you know you as a very gross example if you're thinking of getting ahead from somebody else if you're thinking of how you can be better than the others that thought of competition is there then you can be sure that behind that there is a feeling of opposition if you have thoughts of taking care of somebody nurturing them then the feeling at the base will be one of affection one of care and so on but ultimately this is not the best way the best way is to directly experience and see it for ourselves observe the feeling directly and like i said one of the first things you may notice is whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable with the thoughts that you are having that will give you a clue about the feeling uh, i could be able to see the thoughts but mm-hmm. yesterday it was a little faint i mean i could read some sometime i could see that something is going on but i could not catch it up and then i don't know when i got slept that i used to avoid the conflict every time whenever in the past or in the present so i started settling in the way that i should keep calm right so now i could not able to observe whether i am uh, in a opposition or in the compromise mode yeah so what kind of thoughts are you getting based on that to begin with you might be able to deduce something okay lot of time see what happens is like you say you are not able to see now why you are yeah. not able to see you will notice either your attention has gone outside mhm 
So your attention has shifted from the thoughts, then obviously you'll not be able to see the thoughts, isn't it? Uh -huh. yes. 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 So when the attention shifts anywhere else, <laughs> simply come back. Whenever you, you know, realize that your attention has drifted outside, yeah. you yeah. tend to bring it back inside. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. See. So when you again start paying attention, you will be able to see the thoughts. Yeah, right. Sometimes, sometimes we flow with the thought. Huh, and we are right. not aware of the thoughts at all. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Like something yeah. is going on in the thoughts, and we are so involved in it. So and so said this, and I don't know why they said like this, and what was my yeah. condition then, and we keep going into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yes. last time this one did like this. And the time before that also this happened, and we keep going back, back, back right, into right. the thing. At yeah. some point, we'll realize that we are not observing. Isn't huh, it? Yeah. Yeah. At that point, you come back to observing. You say, okay, no, now, now I can observe. It's okay, I yeah. went with the thought, but now I'll okay. observe. So if okay. you continue with that decision to observe slowly it will start happening important thing is don't decide from before i have to be calm i have to do this i must think like this nothing like that okay. just let it roam free okay and try to observe so slowly you will get the hang of it because you have been practicing something in a very definite manner which is something mm -hmm. contrary to this so therefore, yeah. some conflict may be there with that. But yeah. uh, if you just stay with the decision to observe, right. then slowly it will surface. It's okay. thing, you know, when, when we were, um, I remember this, uh, in the medical college hostel, we used mm -hmm. to be, some of the girls, we used to be from very far off home. So if it was mm -hmm. just two days holidays we couldn't really go home so we would be yeah. sitting you know in the hostel so we yeah. would decide okay let's just enjoy today we'll no books and all this morning we sit down in one room and we'll chat oh. and so we sit down and we say okay what are we going to talk about what are we going to discuss and nobody has anything to say suddenly we are yeah. all blind. Then somebody said, let's open the books and start reading. Then we'll okay. get ideas. So when you start opening the book and reading, <laughs> now suddenly all the thoughts seem to come flooding. Because you're not on uh -huh. your guard. Now you're doing something yeah. else. And, oh, do you know this, this, this happened and uh, the whole uh -huh. thing. You know? Right. So like yes, this, yes. you will notice that if you're on your guard and you're like, I have to be calm. I must not think this. I must not think that. Then you can't observe. Huh, right. Isn't it? But if yeah. you let it be, if you just don't worry about all this, you just decide that I want to observe whatever is going on. <laughs> then you'll be able to see. See, what happens is, like you said, if there is some conflicting thought, you want to avoid it. <laughs> Isn't it? So you have taken that decision that I don't want to see this. Isn't okay. it? Okay. Yeah, somewhere yeah. you have decided that. That's why you are avoiding it. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, yes. So now what we are saying is, overrule that decision. Now your decision is, I want to observe. I want to see, whatever it is. Yeah. Even if it is something not naturally acceptable to me, even if it is uh, something that I don't like about myself, still mm. I want to see. Mm. Because yes. only when I see, only when I face it, can I try to resolve it, isn't it? Huh. Yes, I don't yes, see yes. it at all, how will I resolve it? Because I don't know what is going on. But it will mm -hmm. keep surfacing and it will mm -hmm. keep bothering every now and then. Because whatever you are avoiding, it's not like it's gone out of you. It is still there. It's a part of you. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? And it will surface. Because if it is troubling us, you can be sure it will come up at some later time. Yeah. Yes. So, not to avoid, not to try to avert, but just to observe. Take that decision 
and slowly yeah. it will start happening. Right, Didi. Okay, Didi. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So we will notice that, you know, many a time, this is all that is lacking in us, that decision. Somewhere we are not convinced about things. So that decision, we are sort of being very cautious. So we haven't really decided that I want to observe. That's why we keep saying, all you have to do is to decide because the capacity is there. <laughs> Potential is there. So just decide, it will start happening. Slowly. Yeah? Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Didi. Yes, if anybody else has any observation, we'll take it. Otherwise, we'll go forward. Okay. So we can go to the next slide. Now, this is something that, you know, these are all um, questions or observations that we have had from previous sessions. So, and some of this you will find that you have also shared. So one observation or a doubt is that people say my imagination is not there all the time. It is only there sometimes. So what we would like to say is that keep that open. Don't decide right now that imagination is only going on sometimes. You can only speak for what you have seen. What you have not yet seen, you don't know, isn't it? So keep it that way. What you could directly observe, those thoughts, you are sure they were there. But perhaps there are other thoughts which you have not been able to see yet. And therefore, that will also seem like there are no thoughts, isn't it? So it is possible that your imagination is going on all the time. But only sometimes the grosser thoughts you are able to catch. So you think, okay, these are thoughts. But the others that are more subtle, we may not have seen them. We may not have observed them. So we think they don't exist. So I would say keep it open. Don't decide yet. Whatever you are able to see, that you can be sure of. What you can't see, that it's too early to decide about that. Another question, and even now we got it, was when I try to observe my imagination, I get tired. Or sometimes I feel sleepy. What to do? So I fall asleep. So of course there is no harm in going to sleep for a little while. If you know you're tired, you've been through a hectic day and a lot of conflicting thoughts and all, we get very tired, stressed. So sometimes if you just are sitting quietly by yourself, that is sufficient to make you fall asleep. But, you know, when you are trying to observe your imagination, then you fall asleep, then you feel, Are, I was supposed to be observing, now I fell asleep, what to do? So, you have decided to observe the imagination, but if you are trying to force it, it is something very unpleasant. My attention is constantly shifting outside, but I am forcing myself. Sometimes I am closing my eyes tight shut. Sometimes I am just forcing myself, telling myself, get away from that outside, try to get in, try to see. So I am trying to force myself to see the imagination. Then of course you will feel tired also. You might get a headache also. You might feel exhausted. Isn't it? That is one possibility. The other possibility 
what can happen is the other side of it other total other extreme that i am so relaxed and uh, feeling so nice that i drift into sleep that is also okay to begin with but if you are doing this every time then the purpose is gone isn't it we were trying to observe the imagination but we fell asleep so one of the things that we keep saying is don't do this when you're lying down in bed i mean if that's the only time you're observing let it not be when you're lying down in bed ultimately we have to observe all the time but to begin with there will be some chunks of time that we are putting aside to observe let that be times that you are alert that you are sitting up that you are not lying down in bed obviously if you are very tired and you lie down in bed what's going to happen you are going to fall asleep so be alert sit up straight right you don't have to sit up you can be walking you can be talking you can be uh, even jumping doesn't matter important thing is to pay attention but sometimes in the beginning it is difficult to pay attention to two three things so you are not able to focus on that so for those times what we can do is to be just keep this as our decision that i want to observe my thought and i want to observe my feeling at the base of the thought and with that just try to be alert and look within that's all you don't have to be too tense and try to force it you don't have to be so relaxed that you totally just fall asleep so you have to be calm relaxed but alert not falling asleep sometimes people say you know you said when you say the attention goes elsewhere where does it go because you are on the one hand saying imagination is there all the time but then you say whenever you get back where are we getting back from so that you have to see where you are going thing is two things are going on right one is the imagination is going on now this is going on constantly this is happening in the b2 block so those activities are going on and where are those coming from whatever we have accepted whatever our preconditioning is based on that we are thinking something we are feeling something and this is going on all the time and of course we may not have been aware of it but now what we are trying to do is while this is going on we are trying to observe this from where are we observing the observation is from a point you know away from the b2 block the observation is from the b1 block in fact the highest point in b1 block point of realization or the your observer from there we are trying to observe so many a times what is happening is while you are with that decision to observe suddenly you slip slip meaning you fall from that pure observer and you fall into this b2 and again you are flowing with the thoughts can you see that so temporarily you have stopped observing or you have lost awareness but your imagination is still going on only thing is you are not aware of it you are not noticing it now whenever you realize that oh i was supposed to be observing where was i then you realize you are not observing anymore again come back to 
observing so where did you where did you go when we say come back you slipped into that imagination itself that's what happened that's why you weren't aware that the imagination is going on but now you come back and observe so it's like if you see a stream of water flowing now if you are part of that stream you may not be able to see the water flowing you are so busy you know just swimming in the stream but if you get out of the stream and you sit on the bank now you can see the river the stream flowing very clearly isn't it so this is what it is you have to be sitting on the side of the stream you don't have to jump into the stream but when we are sitting on the side and watching observing so we may see some part of it and then you know, sometimes while this is going on we start we jump into the stream and we start flowing with the thought now you are not able to see it so now you have moved from the b1 block from where you were observing and back into the b2 block and you are flowing with the thought so you can't observe you need to be on a higher plane to observe isn't it so now you are not able to observe and a lot of times you'll notice that this imagination is about the world outside about our relationships uh, about something that happened in the past worries about the future all this so get back when we say get back means get back to the observation from b1 block and start observing from there so all this we have to directly see it within ourselves didi when when we are observing the thoughts shall we observe thoughts through concentrating on the breathing also didi no will it be more effective no 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 okay See, what you are doing there is you are directing yourself that i must focus on my breath yeah 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 you don't direct yourself don't give any direction just let it be whatever is coming observe that this is not observation see i decide i want to uh, pay attention to my breath so i'm paying attention to the breath that is different here i am giving direction i have decided that i have to focus on my breath that's not what we are saying what is being said is just let the imagination flow and you yeah. will find that the imagination is about everything that we consider important but we may not realize that we think it is important but from the content of your imagination you will be able to get whatever you think is important you will be able to see that that's why you are thinking about it isn't it yeah yeah so to become aware of that don't give any direction just try to observe whatever is going on okay what i presumed is it will be more effective if i observe through uh, concentrating or focusing on the breathing then we may not uh, fall to v2 block i thought in this you will be alert always then you are focus on the observing then you are just directing yourself that let me do okay. this let me do that that's not what we are both, both entities are totally different and parallel i think are they yeah. they are they related see there you are focusing on the body isn't yeah. it yeah yeah the breath and the sensation in the body you are focusing here what we are saying is focus on what is going on in the self yeah so if you are trying to do it by focusing on the body now there will be confusion you will still oh. flow with the thoughts from time to time but now you will keep trying to get out of that and shifting your focus on the body but that's not what we are doing here 
we are trying okay. to observe directly in the self abhi we are not doing anything with the body okay yeah they they so if you are having any trouble doing this exercise or if we are having any doubts about how to go about it we can discuss it now didi namaste didi sabhi ko namaste didi during my observation i was having an internal dialogue with myself so that is also thinking didi what kind of internal dialogue i was just thinking what to do and what not to do for morning breakfast didi no no this i should do not this i should do like that i was having an internal dialogue within my own self that those are just thoughts right Mm hmm. Should I do this? Should I do that? Comparing, analyzing. Mm hmm. Isn't it? Observe that so, also. Mm hmm. That I'm mm, doing yeah. this. Just observe that. But I was observing that internal dialogue also, Didi. So that is why I had the doubt. Yeah. When you say internal dialogue, see, it is just at the level of the thoughts, isn't it? Mm hmm. So one thought is I can do this. Another thought is I could do that. Then you compare all this. You analyze what is better. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll make this for breakfast. Maybe I'll not do that. Yes, and these are all mm -hmm. at the level of thoughts. It's I wouldn't call it a dialogue like that, but um, we're just thinking about this. We're trying to analyze these things. Is it literally? But literally, I was talking only, Didi. So that I could clearly see. I am not thinking. I was talking to myself. That internal dialogue or self-talk. Yeah, I mean, you can call it whatever you want, but mm -hmm. essentially, they are thoughts, na. What do you mean by you were not thinking? <laughs> These are thoughts, isn't it? Didi, yeah, yeah. not that you weren't thinking. These are thoughts. You had these thoughts. So observe that also. Mm -hmm. That I am. So what? Thought. Actually, what I have assumed about thinking means I will be keep on thinking without interruption. But here, yes, it was a thought, but I it is a dialogue between myself only. And that I was also observing, so I had a doubt. With it. Dialogue between what and what of yourself? Between my two self. One self is saying, "Okay, do this." No, no, no. This is not no, like no. that. Two self. There is only one self. How many of you are there? Only one self. Only me. Then within the self, where is this? Happening. These are thoughts only, na? Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, sure that they are thoughts, Didi. Uh. So thoughts are there means you're thinking. Mm hmm. Isn't it? Okay. Okay. You are thinking. You are comparing mm -hmm. something. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Should I do this or should I do that? It's like when we take these examples. Now you want to buy a house, uh, something, something. Mm -hmm. You decide. Mm -hmm. You are thinking how to go about it. Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I take a loan? Do I have enough money? Should I do that? I mean, you can call it a dialogue, but it is. It should be clear that this is going on in the B two block. Mm -hmm. If you are observing this, that observation is happening from the B one block. If you are referring to your natural acceptance. That is happening from the B one block. Mm. But if you are just thinking about these, comparing things, you now this is going on in the B two block. Mm -hmm. This should be clear. Okay, okay, isn't it? Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you so much, Dev. That's it for me. When I am deciding to observe my feeling directly, so mm -hmm. in that. Uh, uh naturally there is a question automatically attached to that is that uh, i am happy or not happy 
Mm -hmm. So that was my observation. Okay, that's fine. That's good. That will give you a sense of, you know, some idea about the feeling. Because if you're, if you're comfortable, you have one type of feeling which is naturally acceptable to you. If you're mm -hmm. uncomfortable, unhappy, then you have a different kind of feeling which is not naturally acceptable. We'll come to that when we do steps two and three. My question is whether I am in the right track or not. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just observe that also. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you so much for the uh, enriching session today. And uh, thank you, dear Coispers, for your active and interactive participation in the session.